Hi guys, hello and welcome to Ninja BBB. I don't know my makeup, there's something wrong with my makeup today, but you should just take it like that. So, this is my brother. I promised to bring him on my page. Unfortunately, my sister is not here. But today, we are here to talk about um, breast cancer awareness. So, stay tuned and we'll be back. Say hi. Hi. Tell me your name. I think this is my brother. Okay, my name is Amumbi. Why is your shirt like this? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> And this is Hario Freshness' brother. Yeah, the Freshness' brother. You know. So, um, Amobi, do you know that I once had a breast cancer scare? Yes, I think I remember. You had to do a surgery to move along. You know. And uh, I was fiddling with my boobs. And I noticed a lot. And I was scared. I didn't even tell my mom. I just went to the hospital. I was in my IT then. I was, you know, in the university already. Yeah, I was, yes, I I was 19. I, you were doing your IT at uh, Bonnie Bonny Camp. Camp with Nats right? Yes. Yeah. And then I went for the surgery and they took out the lump. And then I went home and I told mommy. And mommy was, of course, my mom was always scared about everything. Yeah. So like, oh, oh. But Sha, the lump after analysis of the lump, it was at the normal. normal. It was normal. normal. Yeah. It was a normal. But lump. I think it's still good that she was able to find out about it on time. You know, that's what you get when you have awareness of medicine and medical. You know, like. you know. The truth is, I'm actually a science student. We're all science students in my house, and I studied engineering. Oh uh, yeah, but you're still a science student. I studied pure and industrial chemistry in school, so I have an idea. And at the time, I was even working in a pharmaceutical. So I knew, you know, I knew the nitty gritty of some of these things. Well, maybe not the nitty gritty, but I knew like surface wise. Funny thing, when they were operating me on my boobs, actually on my left boobs. Oh, boob. Okay, so actually on my left, left one. Boob. Yeah, the one on her left. <laughs> so when they were operating, I was wide awake and I'm like, what are these guys? And I was watching and they were just. You know that, you know me. Yeah, seeing how they just opening yeah, your body, you know everything. You know? Believe me, you see meat in the market, that's what the yes. human body is like. Of course. You know, I was like, oh my god, my body is like meat. But anyway, thank god. Wait, so since you then... You still have nightmares about that. No, 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 no. I never had nightmares. Okay, that's good thing. So anyway, I had it bandaged. I couldn't have my bath for a couple of days, but it's all healed now. She still has a scar. scar. Yeah, the scar is there. It's, it's not so, you know, pronounced. So anyway, this post is to let you know that as a young woman, you are fat. Scratch that. You are not too young to have cancer. Some people don't even believe in the idea of the whole pink ish do this. Ladies, cancer is real. I know someone in our church, I don't know if you remember her, Auntie Kate. She died from breast cancer. Wow. Apparently, she, they didn't know that and she had she it. She didn't know in time. By the time she found out, they tried to save her by taking all the boobs, but it was already, it was already late. Yeah. So she lost her life. And this, my breath, this, my, my scare came like a few months afterwards After. so it was really really scary for me and mommy but i'm glad for her mostly but yes. before mommy before because she mommy. found out without mommy's knowledge but see that's what you get when you pay attention to your body and the yes, changes and your changes you need to check yourself okay so i got my brother to do a little research on breast cancer so i'm going to be giving you one and a half minutes to coach us Okay, first things first, to understand what breast cancer is, you must understand what cancer is. Yes. Cancer is abnormal growth of the cells in the body. Yeah. You understand? So breast cancer is abnormal growth of the breast cells in the body. Now this forms lumps or let's say harmful, harmful tissues in the body. Okay. And this can now develop into other complications. Oh. Now, I know nobody is aware, but we have more than 100,000 cases in Nigeria a year. Oh my goodness. Yeah. and. The easiest way to find out about breast cancer, or if you have breast cancer, is by checking yourself. Yeah, man, lady, you, you need to know your body. Always know that you are your first doctor. Yes, that's true. If you're surgeon today, you know, okay, fine, I, I, I've eaten something. Yes. Same way with this, you need to check yourself, know when you start feeling discomfort, 
Like, usually, he has no, there's no hard and fast things on like, the side feeling is okay, I might have breast cancer. Sometimes you don't feel anything, but sometimes you have things like um, maybe you just feel uncomfortable. Your boobs, heat, and then um, sometimes you might have lumps like my sister here. Yeah. You might get a nipple discharge. I think this would be a difficult one for pregnant women. Yes, you know, like taking yeah, others, you might not exactly. know because the discharge is just there. And also oh, anyway. there is redness and swelling. Like I said earlier, it's caused by um, unusual growth yes. of the, of the and cells. It can, be treat, it can be treated if found out early. But the treatment is stage dependent. Okay. Yes, it's stage dependent. So if you find out early enough, they can, you might go through things like chemotherapy or radiation. But advanced stages, you have to go through surgery. And they might have to cut off your Yeah, boobs. that's called mas mastectomy. But the one you call was lumpectomy. Just lumpectomy. Oh my goodness! I'm, I'm so proud of my brother. He knows it. So that's that, that's like, I think that's a quick. That's more than one minute. Though. Oh. More than one minute. Anyway, but I don't, the, the point is that you're passing a message and you guys understand what you're saying. Yeah. So, um, before I go, I wrote out five things every young woman must know about breast cancer. Now, he's told us the cause of the cancer, he's told us how to know if you might have it. But these are things you need to know steadfastly that, okay, anything breast cancer should know this. First, you need to know your breast. Ladies, there are ways for you to actually check for this cancerous growth this is where this is where being Very your important. own doctor comes yes. first you need to check yourself it has to be make, make something periodic because you can't say because no, actually actually today. advice yes. yes i think over a couple of weeks or months you need to keep checking because our bodies grow every day cells are destroyed cells are regrown in our body so you need to know constantly yeah, so there's, there's need for the constant check yes and then the second is be persistent exactly what he's saying persistence keep doing it and if you feel that there's something wrong in your body keep checking keep finding out if possible like i have i have a, i have like you know a diary maybe not a diary like a plan now where i write some things that are really important like when last i changed my toothbrush because I, I change my toothbrush every three yeah, months three so months. i do that yeah so you need to be able to be persistency helps in these cases and then the third thing oh sorry we're in the office the third thing is doctor shop. Now, doctor shop means that one doctor cannot tell you everything, everything you need to yes. know. You, he might be your friend, he might be your relative, but try to get two, three, you four might have to be opinions. A student doctor. You know? Yeah. Two, I'm three, a student four. Doctor, yes. Are you serious? Yes, no. Hmm. I know who it is. You missed it. <laughs> So anyway, let's go to the so far. Yeah. Um, you need to doctor shop, have different opinions, especially when you think you might be suffering from an illness, irrespective of it might be cancer, it might be diabetes. Diabe it doesn't have to be anything be serious. Yes. You might have something that you feel is an every even the common cold. Yes, no, two, or three opinions. Because sometimes you, you might to. develop like a resistance to a drug, and a, that particular doctor is used to using that same drug. You won't even know you are used, you are already resistant to the drug. You won't know. So another doctor will give you a better opinion. Exactly. Okay, and the first thing for you to know is research your options. It's an, an, a very important uh, uh to a point. You see, they say the easiest way to buy things from a black man is I said, put, put, it, in a book. put it in a book. But believe me, that is the easiest way for to save our lives also. Yes. So if you feel that it is threat or it's scared to you, you should try to open the books once in a while. Es exactly, you don't man. You don't need to open the books these days. Now everything's on the phone. Just subscribe. Knowledge is power. Wikipedia, Go on Google, Google. Wikipedia, anything yeah. you can. Do sometimes Google will kill you before your time, but you need to be able to see you know, sift yeah. the opinions that are coming to you. So please try to research your op options. And then lastly, network with other young women. Sometimes the knowledge I have could help you. Like they say, a problem shared is half solved. That's true. Yes. Yeah, so you, you no matter no person, no person singularly is an island. You need to relate, socialize, and communicate. You might be you might be experiencing some symptoms that you might yes. know, and someone else will say just like, for instance, that a girl goes to your hospital and she's sick. You're like ah malaria. So I'm like no, just get this pregnant. Why? Yes. Because she may have gone through the same symptoms. Exactly, and she knows. Her mom went to a different set. True. So sometimes, like I said, doctor shop and also network with other people. And research your women. options. Yes, man. You need to things, know these things. That's these things very, things are very important. important. In fact, yeah. the whole five steps are very important. They are. Very so, important. of course, uh, oh my goodness, we've had a long time talking. Oh my god, it's almost 10 minutes. Okay, so let's do a round up. 
<laughs> Thank you very much for watching yeah. Niger BBB. Yeah, you know this, is yeah, this is my brother. My sister is also a Niger girl. I call her mommy these days because she's oh. just mommy's me a lot. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Bye so, guys! Bye no, bye. oh wait, be sure to follow us across all our social media platforms. His is here, mine is here. And of course, subscribe, like, and tell me what you'd like to say. We love yeah, you. Yeah, so you know. Bye. Kiss him. Nah. <laughs> <laughs>